Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Tim from Tim's Tech Blog. It's 10-12, Thursday, September 17th. Got a new video for ya. Let's go! Alright, welcome back. It is about 10-13 uh, now, Thursday, September 17th. And I'm coming at you right now with an app review. Actually, this is a game called... Uh, let me get that name up for you again. Um, not sure the company off the top of my head, but it's called Rock paper airplane now this is a 2d uh, it's 2d game and the thing the strong things that it's got for going for it are the intuitive controls with the accelerometer um, the minimalistic graphics the cartoon like graphics but they still are very 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 smooth um, and the overall addictedness of the game you know it's very addicting um, in my opinion so let's go ahead and launch this once again it's called rock paper airplane and basically this is a a game where it's taking full use of the accelerometer in the iPhone and iPod Touch. So if we go ahead and over here go over here and launch a new game, I do not want to overwrite my new one, so I'm going to go ahead and hit continue, I guess. So basically the object of this game is that you are you are a paper airplane and you're using the accelerometer to move around um, these objects that are coming at you kind of like this. You know, they come at you and your goal is to uh, not get hit by them and you can do ways by um, you know moving the accelerometer all, ugh, moving your iPhone or iPod touch like that to activate the accelerometer accelerometers inside but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just shut up and just show you how, how it's done so basically you gotta kinda keep this one at kinda like this angle you know if you're looking at your phone from the side it's kinda supposed to be looked at kinda like that so if you're um, kinda looking over your phone it's a little bit better viewing angle. So basically, again, like I said, it's the graphics are very 2D. I'm gonna go ahead and hit this light right here. But um, you are this paper little airplane right here, and you're flying around a room, and you gotta use this accelerometer again to uh, get cool little um, gadgets and stuff there, and also collect money. But your ultimate goal is to not get hit, damn it, like I just did, by the objects that are coming towards you. Now you guys can see how slow those objects are coming. You can go ahead and speed that up right over here on the right hand side or you can slow it down whatever fits your uh, bill there. But it's very fun, very addicting. Um, the only problem that I kind of seem to have with it is that I don't really know when I'm about to get hit by the uh, the icons there. You know it's very hard to judge I guess. Maybe if um, kind of the company did something with making the the airplane blink or something or some kind of indicator saying that oh you're about to get messed up then that would be cool because of right now as of right now you just really don't have an idea of how close you are actually of you know to hitting the object um but overall very a very addicting game and my game is over because i'm messing around right now but the it's very sensitive it's not too sensitive it's not too sensitive to the point that you're um you know you do one little movement and the plane goes off in a very you know aggressive uh way there but um and it's not not um sensitive enough to where you're like really having to stretch to get it get the plane to move it's very the very nice very happy medium there <clears throat> but um i'll go ahead and continue to play here kind of speed it up a little bit so again like i said your object object is to uh collect all the money that you can but at the same time kind of dodge these uh um objects that are coming at you and um as you can tell the controls are very very responsive and the graphics are very, very smooth and clean. Another strong, th strong thing that this has going for it is the uh, music and sound effects. I went to school for sound, got a degree in it, and I'm huge on music. And the overall soundtrack of these game, of this game, is it's very light, doesn't get repetitive. It's very fun, you know, kind of gets you in the groove of things. Kind of like, um, kind of throws it, throws it back a little bit, as you can tell by the characters. They look a little more. Uh, dated I should say with the little bobby hair flaring out like that I don't know what to call it but very retro very fun you can see the shadows right there the graphics are amazing um, for being a 2D game I guess but yeah it's very very fun and addicting now I can see others trying to sit here and play this all day I've played it for about 45 minutes straight the other day uh, on my break at work and I was having a blast I got up to like the second to last level and it was literally impossible I was sitting here doing this doing this and it was still like on halfway slow but um, if you guys are interested in this game if it looks at all interesting to you go ahead and have a head over to the app store it's only gonna cost you 99 cents 
That's not bad. And um, check it out, Rock Paper Airplane. It's a good solid app, good solid game. I want to thank the company for sending me the promo code to go ahead and do this review for it. Big shout outs to you guys. I love it. I'm appreciative of it. And uh, <clears throat> I guess in the next couple of videos, I'm going to have this this uh, Golf GPS app up. Um, I took this out. It's a Golf um, GPS, and I'm a big golfer. And this thing worked spot on. It gave me right up to date, you know, um, updates on my whole location or my shot locations and all that stuff. Um, if you guys like this beat that I threw in this video for the intro and now the outro coming up pretty soon, go ahead and fly over to timwmedia.com forward slash music forward slash ringtones and it will be ringtone number three listen to it or I'm sorry ringtone number four it'll be number three and then download it it'll come to you in an M4R format at 30 seconds if you guys need it in another format such as an mp3 if you don't have an iPhone let me know I'll get it to you or I'll just throw it up alright guys this is Tim from Tim's Tech Blog checking out of here peace